Hello, my name is Drew Pickles and today I am going to die. So I will be sitting in the living room of my testicle and I was wondering why I haven't received that F-14 fighter jet full of highway cookies that I ordered in the mail yet and will decide to kill myself because life isn't worth living without my goddamn F-14 fighter jet full of highway cookies. So the first thing I gotta do is contract a terminal illness so I will go to some old McDonald's or Walmart establishment and inhale all the asbestos in the air like breathe 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 suck 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 and then I will go to Dr. Mario's office and get diagnosed with all sorts of horrible lung diseases and Dr. Mario will give me one month to live in a jar of pills just in case I get any dancing blue and yellow viruses but I will shove the pills up his ass like a ha 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 now they're suppositories. Side effects may include massive amounts of butts for logic joke among selgens close proof hosted. And one month later I will be laying on my deathbed and Barney, Ronald McDonald, Chaz Finster, Clifford, and Arthur Reed will be sitting around me and they will all be mourning, because they all know I am going to die. And I will reassure them by saying that my life is ending but my gayness is eternal and that the true spirit of homosexuality can never be silenced by the straightness of death. And then I will close my eyes and die and the Quaker queer will just then rush through the doors and say oh shit, I'm too late. Then all my friends will start planning for a swell funeral, in which everyone will dance on my coffin, rape my corpse, shove dildos in my ass and cock, ride my cock as if it were a nuclear missile, and replace the embalming fluid in my bloodstream with anal lubricant, but just then a preacher will burst through the door with a Bible and an armful of jack shit comics before shouting, oh no, I'm too late. Meanwhile I will awaken in the depths of hell and the devil will welcome me saying hello Drew Pickles, welcome to hell and I will say oh shit, this sucks ass. Then I will be thrown into the hellfire and I will burn like burn 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 ah burn 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 burn. And I will say wow, this sucks ass and then I will be thrown into a pit of snakes and they will immediately start crawling up my ass and biting the inside of my ass and injecting it with demonic venom that will make the inside of my ass become disproportionately swollen. And it will be very swell but the thought of sitting in a pit of snakes with a giant boner will be a little bit awkward. Fuck, this was a mistake, I had better start over. Hello my name is Drew Pickles and today I am going to die. I will be lying on my deathbed when suddenly a preacher will burst through the door and breathe a sigh of relief and say good, I'm on time. Unfortunately I had to push the Quaker queer out of my way to get here in time. Then he will preach to me about fire and brimstone and God and heaven and the devil and fire and brimstone and the great judgment and that's what else. Yes that's right, you guessed it, more fire and brimstone. And I will decide to convert to Christianity and accept Jebus and whatnot and then I will be at peace with myself so I will finally stretch out my arms and die. Then I will wake up and be accepted into heaven. And just as I expected the place will be crawling with male virgins and little altar boys all with tight virgin assholes. Okay well maybe some of the altar boys have been stretched out a little but that doesn't matter. Because they are still boys so I will fuck all their assholes. And while in the middle of the fucking them God will get really really fucking really super pissed off at me and will banish me to hell. And when I get there Baphomet will be sitting on his throne and will snap his fingers and then a flock of his. Minions will carry me off and place me in the cock of a gigantic goat statue with a massive stone erection and tie really fucking really heavy weights to my ankles so that the intense weight will pull me down onto the stone cock and I will secretly enjoy being eternally sodomized by a goat statue but the notion of dangling up in the air by the skin of my large intestine with a 300 mile long boner sticking out of my razor wire loincloth will make me feel a little bit awkward. Oh fuck, this was a goddamn mistake. I had better start this over. Hello my name is Drew Pickles and today I am going to die. While I am in the process of dying, the Quaker queer, Captain Crunch, and a goddamn stupid preacher will all burst through the door at the exact same time causing the door jam to break into pieces and I will say oh, what's the point. This is all just so fucking gay. Then they will all start preaching about the afterlife and I will just breathe out an annoyed sigh and will lay down my arms and die. Once I am dead, I will not wake up anywhere nor will my lack of a soul travel to any post-mortal destination, because no such thing exists and that's what else. Yes you fucking well guessed it, this was a motherfucking mistake, and I had better fucking start this over from the motherfucking beginning. Hello my motherfucking name is Drew Motherfucking Pickles and today I am going to motherfucking die. I will be laying on my deathbed and Barney, 
Ronald McDonald, Chaz Finster, Clifford, and Arthur Reed will be standing over me and mourning but I will be looking out to the right with a weird look, because I haven't got a clue what happened to the couple seven up I was just drinking a few seconds ago and suddenly the Quaker queer, Captain Crunch, and a stupid muffler fucking fire and brimstone preacher will burst through the door and breathe sighs of relief, while saying good, we're not too late. Then all of a sudden Leaf Erickson will burst through the door and push all of them out of the way and say Drew Pickles, I challenge you to battle and so I will get up to do battle with him and I will begin by pulling out my cock and slapping him across the face with my cock and he will get a mortified expression and say dude that's gross and I will get you like <laughs> but then he will hold up his hammer and say okay now it's my turn and will smash my cranium and I will drop to the floor and roll around in agony for a couple of seconds before finally dying and then I will wake up in Valhalla. I will spend years and years feasting with the Norse gods and then doing battle with them and then raping them in the ass like <laughs> Then the final day of Ragnarok will finally come and we will all go to the battlefield and all of the gods will be ready to fight and defeat the evil gods. Then the evil gods will show up and I will find them very sexy so I will ass rape them for hours. And when I am done they will finally be dead. Then Odin will come to congratulate me and say congratulations Drew Pickles, you have single-handedly won the battle of Ragnarok and saved us all from certain death, but you forgot about Fenris. Then Fenris, the giant wolf and son of Loki will run up behind me, tackle me to the ground and begin ass raping me for 10,000 years. And I will enjoy this but the notion that the gods are watching me enjoy being buttfucked by a giant wolf will make me feel a little bit awkward. Well shit this was a mistake. I guess I had better start from the beginning but it looks like the if for team fighter jet full of I way cookies that I ordered finally arrived in the mail. Forget everything I just said, I no longer want to die. Now, if you'll excuse me I am going to go eat my I way cookies. Bye for now faggots.